Okay guys, you so welcome back to the quantity saving platform or the QS platform. Here we are again having another session of course. Last time we were seeing about the rates analysis and that's the content we're gonna be continuing on. So far, okay. So far, as you can see, I'm having my bills of quantity file in excel so today we're going to be covering the third element or the third item of civil engineering works okay so i'll be coming here to the bills of quantity sheet as you can see i'm having this very thing this is the one i chose today to be working on so it is the stones masonry here we'll be having the foundations we'll be having the retaining walls and so if our is that is made within the stones Okay, so you'll be careful with this description. As you can see, if you don't have it in your bills of quantity, maybe it will be into the specifications for the project or whatever, into the sections. Okay, you just make sure that the one that is specified under the drawings, the one you are using for your calculations. Okay, so I'm having this as an example. We are having the natural hard approved quarry stone masonry walling works with a crushing strength of 7.5 newton per millimeter squares. Walling should be bedded and drenched in cement and sand mortar, which is having this very ratio, which is 1 4, with the flash drains pointing neat and including unnecessary and drainage whip holes and whatever. So you just need to read this description carefully so i'll be coming here to the rates analysis as you can see i'm having the third element so it's the stones masonry and then i'll be having this very ratio and then i'm gonna be coming into our calculations just like usual before starting i'd also remind you that the shrinkage factor of motor is 30 percent last time it was 54 percent about the concrete but today for the motor is actually 30 percent okay and then i don't think there is anything else you're gonna be needing to keep in mind except this one so so let's just start it actually we're gonna be calculating for one cubic meter of stones just like usual so we're not gonna be having like this separately with motor cause here we assume that within just one cubic meter of stones we calculate for one cubic meter of course because those kind of stones are actually big and they have lots of voids to be filled within the like cement motor so we just calculate for one and then uh here i'm assuming that the price per one cubic meter of stone is 18,000 Rwandan francs, which is actually 18 USDs or US dollars. So I'm gonna be having a product of this, okay? And then I'm gonna be coming up to here, okay? So actually for the stones, we assume that the weight mortar into one cubic meter of stones is 40%, which means that we'll be having 40 dividing by 100 and then be having 0 0.4 cubic meters into one um one cubic meter of constructed stonework okay so i won't be putting any price right here because we don't measure this we don't calculate this as a single material so we're gonna be highlighting it into cement bags sands and water okay so i'll be coming here right here and I'll be just doing the exact same thing. I'm having the ratio of 1 and 4. So I'm going to be having 1 for cement. I'm, do, I'm to divide it with the total sum up of this ratio, which is 5. I'm going to be putting my bracket. And then, as you can see, I uh, will be multiplying this with 1.3. Actually, I'll be doing just 1 cubic meter. But as we We've already seen the shrinkage factor of motor is 30 percent which is 0 0.3 that we're gonna be adding up to one cubic meters so after this uh, let me put another bracket and here i'm gonna be putting another bracket of course and then after this we'll be having 
our mortar into sorry our cement into uh, cubic meters okay as you can see and then the next thing I'm gonna do right here I'm gonna make sure that I turn these cubic meters into kilograms which I'll be having the multiplication of the density of cement which is 1440 kilograms per one cubic meters and then I'll hit enter right here I'm having the 374 kilograms and then I really need to turn this into our cement bags so I'm gonna be coming right here okay just like usual I'm gonna be dividing it with uh, 50 kilograms and then I'll be having seven cement bags but remember we are calculating for here we are having the calculation of one cubic meters and then we have seen that our in our calculation that we have 0 0.4 cubic meters of uh, weight motor so I'm gonna be having this whole thing okay as you can see I'm gonna be having the product of one of one cement bag price and then I'm gonna be multiplying it with the total number of cement bags and then I'm gonna be multiplying it with 0 0.4 cubic meters and then I'm gonna be coming to have 35 so in simple ways without doing this we can even take this whole thing and multiply it with 0 0.4 because these are the cement bags 7.488 so I can even be having this whole thing okay and then multiply it with 0 0.4 and then hit enter okay and then if I make my uh, multiplication here just like usual we'll be having 35,000 rand francs 942 uh, which is 35 and more of US dollars so I'm done with the cement bags and about the cubic meter of sand it's like the same formula we'll be having four which is this one four sands and then I'll be dividing it with five just like usual I'll be putting in my brackets okay <clears throat> and then I'll be multiplying it with one cubic meter plus the shrinkage factor of 30 percent which is 1.3 cubic meters and then I'll be having this into cubic meters already as you can see I'm having that we'll be needing uh, one cubic meter of sand and then I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be having this into kilograms because we already buy the sand into cubic meters so I'm gonna just be noticing that we are having not we are not having one cubic meter but we are having 0 0.4 cubic meter of motor so I'm gonna multiply it with this and then I'm gonna be hitting enter sorry okay uh, so here I just need to remove some brackets and then multiply it with 0 0.4 okay and then I have 0 0.4 cubic meter of sand and then I'm gonna be doing just the same multiplication so after that I'm gonna be coming to the liter to the waters into liter to the water into liters and then as we've already seen it's 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 of cement quantity so uh, here for the motor let's just use 0 0.4 so we're gonna be having these cement bags so we multiply it with 50 to get it our kilograms and then we're gonna be multiplying it with 0 0.4 and we're gonna be having our 54 liters and then we're gonna just do this and then after that we'll be having the miscellaneous materials which I assume that may take up to 5,000 maybe which is 5 USDs and then 
uh, here just put one and then I'll be doing just the multiplication good so after this we come to the transport fees so I just come here first of all let me make the total sum of our materials okay as you can see I'm having 70,000 uh, random francs of materials which is 70 approximately USDs so I'm gonna be having our 5% of this times 5% here also I'm gonna be having the labor which is 30% I'm gonna be having the wastages which is also 5% of this and then I'm gonna be having the profit and overhead so I'll be having <clears throat> just like we did here I'll be having the total sum of these and then right here we'll just multiply it with 15% and here I'll be having 14 thousand run in francs and then I'll be having the total sum up of this which is okay which is the materials plus these other things and after that we'll be having our cubic meter having 113 thousand run in francs uh, and then okay I forgot that here we are having uh the 0 0.4 it's not one cubic meter so i'll be multiplying it with 0 0.4 okay done and here we'll be having our total our total cost per cubic meter per one cubic meter of stonework so guys this is it for today as you can see it's not that complicated it's really really simple it's just knowing what do you need what kind of materials do you need how to make the calculations what factors should you care about so it's not that uh complicated as you can see so guys this is for today it was the stones muscle work for today and we've already seen one cubic meter of this so guys, I again encourage you to make sure that you subscribe to the Quantity Serving platform or the QS platform to make sure that every content, every session is yours. So again, I really recommend you to make sure that you hit the comment section and let us know what else should be working on next time. And then you can share, you can like, and I hope to see you in our next content. So God bless you. Thanks.